Ron Paul has gained 83 votes on Mitt Romney following a Republican presidential caucus in Washington County today. But Romney still holds a 156 vote lead over Paul in statewide totals. Paul received 163 votes in today's caucus. Romney received 80. Republicans from more than two dozen towns gathered to cast their votes. It's unknown whether their votes will count in state tallies after postponing their caucuses due to bad weather last weekend. The Republican State Committee will consider their request to use to include the state tallies next month. I'm Jackie Ward. Thanks for joining us. The caucuses in Washington and Hancock County may never have felt as important as they did today. Last week, the state Republican Party proclaimed Mitt Romney the winner of the state's non-binding caucuses after many towns caucused, but many in eastern Maine did not due to snowstorms. There was a recount yesterday after many questions and controversy. Mitt Romney extended his lead by 45 votes. After the recount, he led Ron Paul by 239 votes. Rick Santorum came in third and Newt Gingrich fourth. Voters in Washington County came together today to hold their snow-delayed caucus. 306 voters got together at Washington Academy in East Machias to weigh in on their choice for their preferred candidate. John Zero was there when the votes came in and joins us live by phone with the results. Hi, John. Yeah, I was there at, at the caucus today. There was a strong showing of Republicans out to make their voice heard. In fact, many of them, uh, I heard them saying Washington County matters. In fact, they felt that um, that their voice was a significant influence and impact on the on the nomination. Uh, now, as far as the votes go, Ron Paul received 163 votes, almost twice, well, twice as much as Romney, who received 80, and Santorum was in third place with 57 votes, which is significant because uh, Ron Paul had a, a large support base at the caucus, as well as Romney, but Santorum, there was virtually no one there uh, with signs encouraging votes for him, uh, which shows to me that, that there's a significant amount of people in Washington County that, that support Santorum. Now, despite the, despite the, the votes for Ron Paul and Romney, uh, most people that I talked to said that they felt that the showing was positive for the Republican Party, that despite what the outcome will be for the state, their votes really do matter and that it unified the party as a whole. We'll have more on the, the full story coming up later on tonight, Jackie, at 11. Okay, John Zero with that report. Thank you so much, John. Many towns in Hancock County also caucused today, and again, Ron Paul came out the big winner. Paul won 60 votes across the county. Romney actually came in third with 23 votes. Rick Santorum took second with 25 votes. Gingrich placed fourth with eight votes. The town of Castine will caucus on March 3rd. The results of all caucuses will be reviewed at the March 10th Republican State Committee meeting. The executive committee has voted unanimously to recommend that they include the results in the final tally. The main caucuses continue a week after state GOP chairman Charlie Webster announced the results. You might remember Webster declared Mitt Romney to be the winner. You saw him give the results right here on News 13 last Saturday night. But those results were incomplete. Washington County's caucus was postponed until today because of snow. Webster initially said those votes wouldn't count, but now party leaders say they will be included in the final result. So let's take a look at the vote total. Ron Paul, as he doubles up. Mitt Romney, 163 to 84. Now, several towns in Hancock County also held caucuses today. Numbers from those towns also have Ron Paul in front. He's getting 41 votes. Romney's getting 16. But now let's take a look at the unofficial tally. This is with all of today's votes counted. You can see Mitt Romney is still in the lead. He's got just over 2,300 votes there. Ron Paul, just over 2,200 votes. Just a little more than 100 votes behind. And even though today's vote didn't have an impact on who will win the main caucuses, voters in Washington County can at least say their, vo their voices will be part of the process. News 13's Brad Rogers is in East Machias with the latest on the caucus coverage. Hey, Brad. Well, Catherine, I tell you what, in a county known for its blueberries and lobstering, today the spotlight was on its GOP caucus. Republicans came from every corner of this big Washington County right here to East Machias to let their voices be heard. But in the end, for Ron Paul, 
Well, he came up just a little bit short. It was an unusually high turnout for today's Washington County GOP caucus. Then again, no caucus here has ever had this much controversy and publicity. Inside the gym of Washington Academy in East Machias, there weren't enough seats for the over 400 caucus goers. There were Mitt Romney supporters. But I think that hopefully there's more for Mitt Romney. I think he'll be able to beat Barack Obama and lead our country. And there seemed to be plenty of support for Ron Paul. But for Paul to surpass Romney in Maine, he would need at least seven votes for every two of Romney's. I don't know. I mean, I hope it's enough, but, you know, you don't really know until every vote's been counted. Washington County GOP Chair Chris Gardner began by saying, we fought for our voices to be heard. Now that they are, the world is listening. After local and state candidates finished stumping for themselves, Mark Willis got the crowd fired up for Ron Paul. But today I stand before you as a proud representative to speak for him and to represent the next president of the United States, Ron Paul! The reception State Attorney General Bill Schneider got for Mitt Romney was far less enthusiastic. I'm supporting Mitt Romney. I hope you'll do the same. It means a lot to the country. All total, there were 306 GOP caucus votes up for grabs in Washington County. We had 80 votes for Mitt Romney and 163 votes for Mitt Romney. Ron Paul won big here, and his supporters were keeping hope he could catch Mitt Romney. We don't know yet. We haven't seen Hancock. We haven't seen those other little towns. Ron Paul did win in nearby Hancock County, but... He made up some ground, but I don't know if it was enough. 